Said left about three seconds before the turn could have caused a pileup. <laughs> it's fought. Relax. There'll be another turn. Nine months ago, a seven-year-old boy, Adrian Taylor, died in somewhat disputed circumstances while out fishing with his mum. Disputed? At the inquest, the medical evidence showed the death was by drowning. The boy's mother, the only witness, was too ill to attend. The coroner recorded it as an accidental death. Case closed. Except? Except mum recovers. She claims her son died as a result of a leak from a nearby biotech lab. She shouts about a cover-up. Conspiracy of silence. The press shows some interest at first. The general consensus is she's mentally unstable. No, yeah, well, losing a child can do that. It's not like a hangover. Who's that, the dad? It's Mr. Alan Brighton, the whistleblower. Looks like he's on his first date. How'd he end up with us? He applied for a job in forensics. The super drew the short straw and was on the panel. Brighton broke down at the interview. Well, I'll have a Kleenex and a boot up the hole. So, you were an environmental protection officer for DEFRA, and you got sacked for having internet porn on your computer. Allegedly. Can you tell us about Alice Taylor? Oh, well, she, she was making a complete nuisance of herself, you know? She was popping up every time the minister was making a public appearance. So, I, I was asked to conduct a survey of the area where the drowning occurred to see if there was any evidence of industrial pollution. The area was clean. So? The area was completely clean. There was no sustainable evidence of a chemical spill, but there was ample evidence that the area had been cleansed. Everything you can do to repair an area that had been affected by pollution had been done. So, as a matter of routine, I, I approached the company and I was refused access. I made a report and I recommended that we undertook a mandatory inspection. And? The report got buried. I made inquiries about it, and next thing I know, it was moved to another department. So I, I put pressure on. And then they conspired to have me fired. I've been set up, and that poor woman has been lied to. That company is getting away with murder. What are you gonna do about it? Alice claims it was the result of this biotech lab. Livingston Research, sir. The defence people, or the attack people, depending on your point of view. 
Curtis Livingstone, the boss, very, very rich, makes Howard Hughes look like Peter Stringfellow. Well, if a crime has been committed, then we have a responsibility to investigate it. But if Livingston fails to address it through the usual channels, then we'll have to investigate it through the unusual ones. Which is where you come in. You want me to pass myself off as a scientist? Listen, you wouldn't sit under a light bulb that I screwed on. No, I'm not exactly a scientist, Tommy. More uh, an industrial maintenance technician. A cleaner? Your profile. Utility bills, CV, references, the usual picture of how wonderful you are. A cleaner. OK, for those of you who are new tonight, that is Kelso, Zygu, Murphy, and Peters, you will require security documentation. Don't worry, it's all quite painless. OK, that documentation will give you full access to levels one and two, but level three is strictly off limits. This is a biotech facility, people. That means security is at a premium. Butlins. First night and I'm down for a fag already. You and me both, Lynn. Who's he? Head of Corporate Affairs, John Simpson. Miss? Brenda, I think you dropped this. They always manage to get that rabbit caught in the headlights expression, don't they? You keep hold of this, eh? This is my original report, signed and dated. I've attached the lab analysis, and there's pretty comprehensive notes there on the government contracts, at least the ones that make it onto the web. And they've been throwing a lot of money around, community projects, grants, sponsorships. It doesn't mean they've done anything wrong. Of course it does. Hi, Alice. It's okay. It's... Morning, Alice. Wait, take it easy. Look, I just want to talk. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to any of you. And you won't scare me off. I want to talk to you about your son. It won't take long. I've got coffee. So how do I know you are who you say you are? You don't look like a journalist. Yeah, I know. It's the honest face. And what are you doing at Livingston? Exactly the same as you, it seems. Look, Alice, this is what I do. I go after companies like this. But sometimes the only way to get the truth is to go inside and find out for yourself. And why this company? Why now? I heard about your story. I thought I'd check it out. I have a friend who's an environmental scientist. And he ran some tests on the area where your son died. There was no evidence of pollution. But there was ample evidence that the area had been cleaned up, restored, treated, whatever you want to call it. He's convinced there's a cover-up. And he lost his job trying to prove it. He believes you. I believe you, Alice. And it was only a few inches deep. I should have been able to just pick him up and dry him off, but... Then I fell in as well. One minute I was splashing through it, the next minute I was soaked, and I don't know how or why. I just knew that when I got my son to the bank, he couldn't breathe properly. 
I caused havoc at the hospital, but they told me that the blood tests were clear. I crisscrossed the country looking for the family that had taken us to hospital, but they disappeared off the face of the earth. But I won't ever give up because I know my son didn't drown. He was still breathing when I got him into the car. It was something in the water. And it came from that place. And there is evidence in there, and I will find it. Revenge is fine, Alice. I'm all for it. But have you any idea what you're looking for? Do you? Well, I, uh... I usually go in and it just sort of presents itself to me, you know? I'm what you might call a regular shit magnet. But I'm trained to be a shit magnet. You, on the other hand... I can't just sit here. I have to do something. OK. OK. We'll be like Bonnie and Clyde with mobs. There's something you don't see every day. Alice maintains she was brought to the hospital by a family. Two adults, two children. Mm. She thinks it was in a blue 4x4. Four four. Go through the records, see if you can find anything out. Feeling that, get onto the hospital and lean on them. <coughs> Shit. What's up? Suits and briefcases. MI5? Looks like it. I'll call you back. Detective Carter. Sir? These good people are interested in your defer inquiries about Livingston. It's, it's a dead end, didn't you say? Sir? We've had a cease and desist order, so I'll just knock it on the head. Is Murphy still on that walking holiday in France? Um, Pyrenees, I think, sir. Typical. Well, let me know when he gets back. Good. That's that, then. You've got your sex discrimination, and now you've got time discrimination. Time discrimination? What are you talking about? Just the usual rumble rubbish. No, it's not rubbish. Listen. Slow down, mate. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Or give me one watching you. The cable insulation's given us jip. If anything goes up to the third floor, I swear it like bloody magic, or it's my head on the chopper. Well, at least you've got an interesting job. I'm here one night and it's killing me. Oh, I don't know about interesting. Maintenance is maintenance. It's not exactly sexy. Oh, come on. You must have your odd China syndrome moment. Yeah, I wish. Well, before me, you had the right idea. Early retirement, 50. That's the life, eh? Golf and beer, I do mean. Yeah, now you're talking. Apart from the golf. Yep. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Well, can't someone... All right, I'll be there in a minute. Now it's a bloody boiler. It never rains, but it pours. at work. Are you hungry? Uh, no, thanks. Works canteen, eh? Not exactly the Ritz. Do you like working nights, Brenda? It's all right. Does your husband not mind? Split up. Go on. 
against the rules. Oh, we can't always play by the rules, Brenda. What a dull life that would be. March the 1st, March the 3rd. Can I help you? No, you're all right, mate. Got everything I need. Well, Brenda, this should be our little secret. <laughs> secret smokers. All right? access to this restricted area. We need evidence. We need something on paper to say, yes, we released this or that into the water, or, or someone to point the finger and say, he did it, it was him. <sighs> There's got to be something up there. I'm sorry. I'm rattling on. You know what you're doing. You really should go to hospital with that. Nah, they don't do anything for ribs there. Just tea and sympathy. I can get that here, can't I? Yeah, right. So do you do this all the time? Crusading after the truth, exposing the bad guys, pretending to be other people. Pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, double grub. How's your wife cope? Well, she's fine. Lives in a different country, mind, with somebody else. But it's her way of coping. We should go to bed. Meaning you should go to bed. I'll, um, if I know. Yeah, sorry, I'm... No, go on, sorry. Where are your paediatric records kept? Second floor, mate. No, we already have these. Are you sure there's nothing else? What, you need the double extra secret files? Sorry, that's your lot. Why are these suddenly so popular? Yes, I remember her. It's that's her case. It's nothing worse than a mother who... Yeah, well, I'm sure you know. I understand you detest on them both. Well, she was convinced there was something in the water, so I ran checks. Skin, hair, mouth swabs. There was nothing to suggest I'd been in contact with a chemical spill. 
Is it possible to get a copy of Alice Taylor's records? Hippocratic Oath, if you'll excuse me. I understand it's an emergency, madam, but if you're going to leave your car there, you're going to have to sign it in, otherwise it's going to be clamped. How far does that go back? I have six registrations. I need to know if any of them are blue four-by-fours. Far away. Yep, we've got something. Warren Patterson. Yeah, I know where it is. No, we'll deal with it. We? Yeah, you've met Harvey. Six foot, big white ears. Be careful, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. You've got five minutes to get ready. Where are we going? We've tried down your witnesses. Look. Don't get your hopes up, Alice. Well, this is the first good news I've had in months. It's them. It's got to be them. What if they totally contradict our story? Well, it's not a story. You can't deny it. Eat your meat as well, please. Uh, you just stay where you are. It's for you. I can wait till we're finished. Hi there. Who is it, love? Well, you're obviously not short of a bob or two. Carter. It's me. Murphy. The Pattersons are dead. Somebody got there before we did. Good holiday. We need to find out who killed them, Carter. Don't blame me, mate. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's pretty quiet around here. Excuse So Murphy's looking for another week in France. Postcard wouldn't go, miss. You got the OK. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. 
join the Masons so that this sort of thing wouldn't happen. You okay? Yeah. I put the kettle on. I throw somewhere to plug it in. Or indeed a kettle. They were just kids. What harm could they have done? What harm could any of them have done? This is my fault. No, it's the fault of whoever pulled the trigger. Yes, but I don't understand. Why kill them? They were killed because they were the only weak link in the cover-up. You were written off as a head of the ball ages ago. They were a nice, plausible family. Yeah, but why today? It, it couldn't be a coincidence. It isn't a coincidence, is it? As soon as we run a check on the license plate, that set an alarm bell off somewhere, which means that whoever is behind this is waiting and watching. We're on our own, Alice. Well, yeah, we're not on our own, though, are we? We can go to your paper. We can expose them. But you lied to me. Yes. You lied to me. I'm sorry, Alice, I had to. But it doesn't change anything. We're still going to get them. It changes everything! You're the only person I trusted and you lied to me! Wait, Alice, listen to me. I'll tell you everything I know. And then you decide, OK? These are car registration numbers lifted from the speed cameras and the CCTV in the area of the Patterson house around the time of the murders. How did you get those? Friends in low places. There's an empty office one floor up, and I've set up a computer. What do we do next? We'll kick out. Come on. Where are we going? We're going to mop some floors. We can't. Why if they're onto us? If they're onto us, we wouldn't be here now. So we hide in plain sight and keep on our fingers crossed. I need to get rid of this. if it's all over the news. I thought we agreed a strategy. They were paid, weren't they? Yes. But someone was looking for them. My contact in Scotland Yard warned me that someone was taking an interest. I understood the Met was supposed to back off from this. Yeah. I'm looking into it. So you can see why I had to act quickly. If this comes back to us, you're finished. I'm finished. We're all finished. I understand that. It's under control. Make sure it is.
dollar a day, another 37 pence. Oh, anyway, what's all that about? Seven months of a job, and they still haven't changed my bloody name. I'm not a Brian Matlock left in such a hurry. Brenda. Brenda. Jump in, I'll give you a lift. What? Come on, do you want to travel in style or not? I want to talk to you about something. Talk to me about what? A new position opening up on the third floor. Thought you might be interested. It's clerical, mind. You'd have to trade in your mop. Why me? Jump in, I'll tell you. job. Get your foot on the ladder. Who knows what it might lead, eh? Why me? Why not? We should go out for dinner and discuss it. What? I don't bite, you know. Unless you ask. Length, the long and the round. I'm sorry. Uh, have all your phone I need to make a call. Okay, yes, you can. Hang on a sec. There you go. Thanks. As long as you're not following Australia, Mike, it's one of those pay as you learn things, you know? Mind you, I find them much more efficient. It's better than getting the contract that costs you an arm and a leg. Do you know what I mean? Carter. Tommy, your phone's been off for ages. Listen, we've tracked a Livingston Company car to a speed camera just around the block from the Patterson house five minutes before the murders. It's a Mercedes. Name driver is a John Allen Simpson. Sorry? Thanks. Sorry, mate. Can you uh, step on my bit, please? Just don't. Who do you think I am? Come on, Brenda. You're single and attractive. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. I'm not interested in your back. That's what I was hoping. No! Maybe when I get the job. I like it. I know it's a bit cliché, but the, uh... Bloody car's broken down. If I could, um, just use your phone. What's wrong with your mobile? Good point. What do you want? What do you think I want, Alice? And it is Alice, isn't it? I want you, Alice. I want you, Alice. In every way you can imagine. And I'm gonna kill you. Just like the Pattersons. You know the Pattersons? Yes, Alice. And it's all your fault. They took our money. They had a good life and you ruined it with all your poking around. How did you ever think you were going to get away with it, eh? You killed my son! Now, that was an accident. This is murder. No, no.
Takes Alice, a flash car, a bit of cash. You swore to me you weren't with someone else. Please. Where is he then? Where are you, slick bastard? Shit. D if he was police, there'd be police here, Alice. Frank, you have to try to understand. I haven't slept for weeks. I thought you were having an affair with someone, but this. This is worse, much worse. Frank, they're trying to kill me! What? What? Where is it? Security pass. Got it. Oh, I still love you. I know. Just needed some support. Our son is dead, Alice. It just felt like every day you're digging him up again. Well, that's just the point, Frank. Because there was nothing to dig up because you had him cremated. I had no say in it. You were in hospital. They suggested cremation. I didn't think it was strange at the time. Well, why would you? But can't you see what they're doing now? I want to, Alice. I want to. There's some form of narcotic. We need to pin it down, though. I'll get you the inhaler. I'll find the maintenance manager, Matlock, OK? We're going to have to leave the body. We've got to buy time. Right, see you there. Thanks. I just needed you to be there, Frank. I've always been there, Alice. You just haven't noticed. I'm sorry. I've got to do this. You don't have to do anything. Stay with me. Alice, please. And well, what about... Just leave him. I can't come back here, Frank. And... and go to our brothers. They've gone up north. It'll be empty till the weekend. You could give it a vacuum. Fentanyl base. Looks like it's been combined with a, an amphetamine steroid mix. I'd look shocked if I'd any idea what you were talking about. Fentanyl is a synthetic opiate. It's, it's used medicinally as an alternative to morphine. It's also used as a street drug, China White. It's about a hundred times more potent than heroin. Yeah, but this is in a completely different league. It's a very sophisticated designer drug. I mean, there's a euphoria that you get from the opiate, but all well, these other ingredients <laughs> keep me going for days. Well, so what? Simpson was a drug addict. He mixed himself up some sort of speedball. Uh, you, you wouldn't mix this in your own back bedroom. But you could manufacture it in a lab like Livingston. Exactly. But it still doesn't tell us how Adrian died. Well, maybe it does. Maybe we've been looking in the wrong place. But maybe the reason I couldn't find anything in the water was because nothing leaked into the water. I mean, this is a gas. It could have been a gas leak. Yeah, but it didn't kill me. You're not seven. Adrian was younger and then weaker. The dosage from a gas leak can't be controlled. So, how do we prove a connection? Well, it would have shown up in his blood, in his son. And we could have run a test, but well, he was cremated, wasn't he? 
But I had blood tests, and if I was exposed to it, surely... Fentanyl is the one that would have shown up in the results. We'll need to find out if it was in your blood. Get on to the hospital, check it out, and find Matlock. Was there a leak? Ah. Yes, it appears some bloods were taken, but not by me. But I say again, Detective, I've given you as much information as I'm permitted to give you. Without the express permission of the patient, I cannot give you any further details. I understand that, Doctor, and we will get that permission. We just can't get it in writing until the morning. I'd like to help you, but I'm bound... Doctor, this is a murder inquiry, and it's urgent. Now, I know you can't tell me exactly what you have there, but what we're looking for is very, very specific. Please, if I mention the name of the drug and it is contained in the lab report, then just say nothing. And if it isn't there, then just say you can't comment. Is that fair? Yes, I suppose so. OK, now I'm going to name the drug. Fentanyl. Thank you, Doctor. I can't just wait here. Yes, you can. It's not safe for you to come with me. They're going to find out Simpson's missing soon enough. This may be the last chance we have. Thanks for doing all this. Wait till you see the bill. Brian Matlock, who's asking? I'd like to ask you some questions relating to Livingston Research. Sorry, love. I'm out of this stuff. Don't be long. No, thanks. Alice Taylor? Yeah. Alice Taylor, I'm arresting you in suspicion of the murder of John Simpson. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Come with us now. Sorry, Alice. Frank, what have you done? I did it for your own good. This is national security, Alice. You're not entitled to anything. Why are you protecting them? Four members of the Patterson family. John Allen Simpson. Five people. All dead. Six. Adrian Taylor. Age seven. My son. Give me oil and my lamp, keep it burning. Give me oil and my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning till the break of day. What is this? This? This go boom. What? This is a highly unstable mix of inflammable liquid. And these are the inner workings of a vacuum cleaner. If I join these two wires together, I would create a circuit, which will cause this lot to explode, destroying most of the complex and definitely singeing your hair. I knew that boys' brigade training would come in handy. Oh, my God. Tommy's fine. What do you want? Livingston. Get him. Simpson tried to kill me. We only have your word for that. And frankly, it's not worth very much. You have a psychiatric history. Even your husband thinks you're unstable. Imagine what the prosecution would think of that in court. We can help you get through this, but you have to back off. I won't give up. You ready? Yeah, okay, Tom, two, three. Okay, guys, stand by. We could be in for a very interesting night. Can I just see Let's that? Let's hope so. Is it gonna move on altogether? What 
do you think you'll achieve by this? Pretty much anything I want. You stage your protest. You made your point, whatever the hell the point is. Now get out of here where you still can. Aye, right. Lose the fan club. Get rid of them, and then you can tell me all about Adrian Taylor. Go. See, we get any bumps. Just go. Evacuate the lab. I want to know how Adrian died. I can't help you. I want to know why the Patterson family were killed. Why was Environmental Protection Officer forced out of his job? There was no evidence of pollution. We were in the clear. I'll ask you nicely one more time. The boy drowned. His mother couldn't bear the responsibility, so she blamed us. We're an easy target. So take your conspiracy theories elsewhere. You haven't got the ball. Five, four, three, two... Stop! God almighty, man, this is a research laboratory. The chemicals that will be released. Thousands could die. Is that what you really want? I want to know how Adrian Taylor died. I want this over. If it's about money, we can sort it out. So you admit it was an accident? Is that why you paid off Brian Matlock? That imbecile made a stupid mistake with a valve. Instead of channeling gas from a reactor to a condenser, he sent it down a vent pipe to the outside. We realized the mistake very quickly, but unfortunately not quickly enough for Adrian Taylor. What was in the gas? Carbon monoxide. Shite! Your man Simpson didn't slaughter an entire family over carbon bloody monoxide. That wasn't my... Look, Simpson was out of control. He was a drug addict. He was addicted to a drug you're developing here. It's what killed Adrian. We've got a sample. We had it analyzed. We have evidence that it showed up in Alice Taylor's blood on the day her son died. We could do a deal. No deal. We're going public on this. We'll admit responsibility for the boy's death but keep the details about the drug out of the public domain. Now, why would we agree to that? I have a responsibility to protect this country's interest. This drug is being developed to help soldiers face the stress of modern warfare and enable them to perform to maximum capacity in extreme conditions. They won't feel hunger, tiredness, stress. Or have hang-ups about killing entirely innocent people. It's still to be refined. Simpson got hold of an early prototype. Oh, well, that's OK, then. I'm sure that'll sound dandy in court. You think this will ever come to court? I'm fairly certain. Did you get all that? Every last word. This is going to blow them away. Stand by, Kerry. We're going to breaking news after the next story. OK, Tom. You're up shit creek, pal. Don't. Say your prayers, Arsenal. Fire! I've been through this a thousand times, and I'm not going through it again until I've seen my solicitor. We got the malice. It's over. Now, a mother's claim that a conspiracy of silence surrounded her son's death was proved true tonight when biotech company Livingston Research admitted responsibility for the death of Adrian Taylor.